Hi, today we're here in the African American Children's Book Fair, and we have Derek Barnes with us, the author of Crown and the Kinder, the King of Kindergarten. Yay. Two awesome books that we won in which we definitely reviewed, um, and we're so excited and can't wait for everyone to see it and talk about it. Yes. And I hope you have your copy too. So, tell us what inspired Crown. Uh, Crown actually was inspired by a Facebook post. Uh, fellow children's book illustrator uh, Don Tate posted mm -hmm. uh, a sketch of his 50 year old son coming home from the barber shop. And I thought it was a beautiful pic, and I sent him a message and asked if he didn't mind like, sketching like 25 more of those. And I would just write poems to each one, just about how strong, beautiful our sons are, and how much we love them. Uh, he was mad busy. He was a, a very sought after artist at the time. Mm -hmm. And, but I had, you know, I had started working on it, and I created a poem, and I titled the poem Crown, and it became a picture book. So, and this is my third son, Silas, on the cover. He oh, the really? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. See, you learned four something. Boys. He was a lucky boy. He got, he got, he got chosen. chosen. <laughs> he got chosen, man. Oh. Yes, but he actually, that pose is like what I feel when I see, when I see my, uh, the kids in the school walk in, they always like, yes, I'm like, yes, your haircut look, yes, 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 so I love that book, I think there's so many books for girls, but I love that this one is for boys, and I just love the, um, the way you describe the confidence that the boys have when they get that haircut, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, you know, I, you know, so this to be honest, I write for black children, every single yeah. book, that I write is to inspire and to affirm the existence of black children. But I write with universal themes though. So yeah. it, because everybody knows this experience. You know what it's like to get something new, to make yourself feel better about yourself. So. But no, uh, it's always it's always for the uh, always for the babies. This is this is my youngest son, Nambi, oh, okay. on the cover of this one. So I try to include the whole family, you know? Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta, you have That's to do it. That's what we believe, that if yes. the family's involved, kids will be inspired to That's read, right. and how do you get your boys to read? Now, do, do your boys enjoy reading? I have, yes. I have one son that was an avid reader when he was younger. That's my 19-year-old, but like, once he got involved with girls and, and studies, you know, that kind of fell to the wayside. But, you know, I always tell parents, it's not so important that you get your children to become, you know, to become, lovers of books, you know, just for entertainment. Everyone doesn't have to want to read for, you know, entertainment purposes, but it's important that they read for content, you know, especially for, you know, for school yeah. education purposes. So, you know, the age old answer is get them books that they like. Yep. It doesn't matter if it's graphic novels or yeah. picture books or um, books on sports. You just get them what they love to read. You know? Awesome, yeah. awesome. What's the book you're reading right now? Uh, I am reading, uh, I'm reading a couple of things on my chest, on my um, on my desk right now. But the Sweet Fly Paper of Life, okay, um, Langston Hughes uh, book. I'm a big Langston Hughes fan. Okay. Yeah. So. And what book have you read that had like a surprise ending to the end? Like, oh my gosh, didn't see that coming. Oh. When things fall apart. Oh yeah. So when I today, um, I, you know, I, I was I was kind of expecting that when you talk about. You know, colonialism, that's what obviously what the book is about, but it just happened in such a harsh way, you know what I mean? So that that, that, that book comes to mind. Okay. Oh, what's your favorite book? Yeah, what's it? Oh, my favorite book, I keep in my, I always say I keep it in my backpack, but I don't have it with me now, but it's the uh, autobiography, the uh, narrative of a slave. Oh, okay. Frederick okay. Douglass, that I think is the greatest American ever. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I keep that with me because it's about, you know, perseverance, he, he fought his, it's, it's a slave owner, owners, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, to me, just the greatest American ever. Awesome. So, yeah, I keep that book with awesome. me. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you so, so much, much for talking with Thank us today. You. Thank you for your so time. Much. And continue writing. Yes. yes no doubt. Your books continue. make a difference. No yes. Doubt. The kids are always like, we want to read that one. I'm like, okay. Yes, right. yes. we want to read that one. Yes. More, yes. more books on the way. Right? Yes. yes. Awesome. Yes. We're looking out for them. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.